Hello, welcome to the Friends and Farts shut up, shut podcast. Up, shut up, shut up, Goodbye. everybody. Listen, listen. Kitty litter clumps if you don't scoop. Always remember to scoop your kitty litter at least once a day. That is all. Who are Anyways, you? welcome to the Friends and Pals podcast. <laughs> Who are <laughs> our, our new guest for today, we have a guest. He's an actor. He's a writer. He's friends to the stars and Hollywood elites. He's he's a visitor to over he's a visitor to over half the bathrooms in, in northeastern America, and he's uh, the main Definitely true. and he's the main subject at an event at GameStop, which I will not mention unless I'm taken off the air. Uh, give give a warm welcome to the Justin. This <laughs> is really, really piping applause. That's not that's not Evan. That's not, that's not Evan. <laughs> All right, now, everybody. now, after the applause, editor, can you put in the Kevin McLeod music that they used at the Golden Globes? Yeah, you sent me that. What the fuck was that? Was that meant to be funny? <laughs> I, yeah. I don't think it I, was. I was watching it live, like, on the TV, and I literally, like, actively wanted to leave the room. Yeah, for like, those that wondering, Will, Will I, Ferrell and whoever else he was with were dancing uh, to public... It were, Kristen Bank were dancing to royalty-free music at the Golden Globes. All right, so how many awards did, did Five Nights at Freddy's get at the Golden Globes? Let's be real. <laughs> they, got all, they got all of them. Don't oh, worry. I remember one, like, a, it was the last of us, uh, of, like, Game Awards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it, it, was, it was a five, it was a FNAF sweep. Thank you, Justin, for coming on the show. You're our first guest. I wasn't going to thank him, so I'm glad you did. <laughs> well, so I, most of this show. I talk to this fucker every day. I don't have to thank him for appearing. I'm not talking yeah. to him in two years. <laughs> right. Uh, it's good to be here, I guess. This is probably the lowest part of your professional career, might I add. <laughs> there, there, no, there, I think the lowest part, the lowest part of my professional career is whenever I, I manage to survive the night when I fall asleep. In, in 50 years, they're, they're going to wheel your ass out at the, jost of, at the roast of Justin on the Ellen show. And they're gonna be like, we found this. And like we're gonna, we, they're, they're gonna be like, we found this podcast you were on in 2024. Let's make fun of you for it. <laughs> that, that, no, in my luck, that would be exactly how that goes down. <laughs> well, we all know the height of your career so far professionally. It's been playing Orloff on hit. Your <laughs> consideration. Okay, so <laughs> I guess I guess for anyone that that doesn't know that uh i i was in a movie that you can find on youtube called riddle of the spider's web it's actually the third of a trilogy uh, of films created by director scott wagner <laughs> and, I pl- and i played his character named orloff i was i was told to play the character with a russian accent which i i really can't do <laughs> <laughs> i just did the best i could but I'm essentially like one of the the henchmen of the main bad guy of the movie, but I'm the one that shows up the most. You're the doorman of the movie. Pretty much. Yeah, I, I like it. I like the movie. Uh, but the fun fact that a lot of people don't know is that I'm actually in the second Spider's Web movie as well. I, but that was back in the days when I was an extra, and you could just see me in the background of one of the scenes. Are you playing the same character? And. No, I like to think it's the same character. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure Scott Wagner doesn't think so. I remember talking to Cameron about about this, and he watched the movie, and he he thought it was funny or something. I thought it was. Funny. And yeah, and for some reason, he just goes like, "Wouldn't it be funny if Orloff showed up in FYC?" I don't think this was my idea. I think this was your idea. No, I did. I would not try to bring. <laughs> You always do this to me. I don't remember this. You always gaslight me. I, don't remember I, I can absolutely attest that when <laughs> um, Cameron was explaining the scene to me when we were filming it, he was like, yeah, my friend Justin really wants to be on this show. <laughs> <laughs> no, that part's true, but like, I didn't want to be in it as... I didn't want to be in it as Orloff, but then it just became that because we thought it was funny. <laughs> Cameron, Cameron explained this to me that he's like doing this charity for his friend. <laughs> Like out of pity. <laughs> yeah, the, the, fuck, the fucking dying child from the Make a Wish Foundation who wanted to be on FYC. It's a privilege to be on this web show that forty people watch. I'll have you know, we have amassed over a hundred. We have amassed hundreds of views. 
tens of hundreds of views. Now, J just Justin was talking to me. I think it was like yesterday that he had an original ending for FYC. And I can't remember what yeah. it was. Do you want to tell tell us what you, what your planned ending for <laughs> FYC was? So, so Cameron was talking about the the end of of season three. I suggested uh, an, an ending for him. What you need to do is you need to have a part where your character in FYC looks at everybody and goes, you know what, Adam Sandler is really not that bad if you put him in, in dramatic roles instead of, of comedy roles. He's not a bad actor, guys. And it immediately jump, jump cuts to all the other characters in FYC crucifying <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> like Why? epic, like Passion of the Christ style. <laughs> Well, hold on, I can't. Oh, sorry, I was talking to my grandma. I just came back to hearing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I said that the idea that I suggested to uh, to Cameron about how FYC should end, but he was talking about ending it or ending season three at least. Uh, I said, what you need to do is have your character look at all the other characters and go. Uh, you know what, guys? Adam Sandler is really not that bad if you put him in, you know, like non-comedy roles. You know, if you give him dramedy, you know, drama roles, uh, then, then you know he's actually pretty good. And then immediately jump cuts to all the other characters in FYC crucifying uh, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> this would, of course, be during the Grown Ups Two episode of FYC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still surprised we never did a Rush Hour episode. I the thing I wanted to, I don't know. I mean, when Rush Hour Four comes out, I'll do a retrospective of the entire franchise. We gotta we gotta do in season three, uh, thirty nine clues. Shut up. <laughs> Can I say I love Orloff's physicality in the final FYC, where it's just like guy with like a blanket over his head, who's clearly who's, who's clearly not me. <laughs> oh, because he has your girth. Like <laughs> <laughs> call me fat. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't have Tyler body the whole <laughs> that, That's the problem, and I'm like, this is not dogging on anyone, but we all, as in like the main cast, so everyone but Nick, uh, we all have like such specific like body types <laughs> that like us doing that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's impossible to double for someone else. Like there was a scene where like. Richter or Nick, and Nick is supposed to be like shooting from off screen and you can like see like Nick's hand but Nick wasn't there so I'm like Aaron we need we need to use your hand but it's yeah, clearly it's, your it's, hand in my brain I like to think that that FYC is canon with like the spider's web trilogy <laughs> like in my own little stupid mind I like to think that after after the end of riddle the spider's web Orloff like you know gave up being an evil henchman and just like started like ruining uh what's cameron's character's name again like nolan like just start ruining <laughs> nolan's life cameron can we title this episode fyc cast reunion <laughs> <laughs> I, I i remember i remember uh we were going to mckay's one day it was me you evan and tyler and justin called us while we were driving and i, and I, and I said <laughs> guys like the entire FYC cast is in the car right now, and like I think one of you was like, "What about Nick?" And I'm like, "Everyone from FYC is in the car right now." <laughs> yeah, I think Evan asked that, and then I piped in and said, "What about Nick?" <laughs> what about Nick? Because <laughs> I think I said, "No, we're forgetting Tavin." <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tavin! Tavin, well, he was he was cut. He, he didn't make the audition. <laughs> Imagine getting cut from for your consideration. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Remember, like his 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 behind the scenes during Nautil, where it's just him staring at the camera, and he's like trying not to laugh. <laughs> and he's like, "How long do I have to do this?" He's like about to cry. Imagine the alternate universe where Tavid is a consistent character. Well, remember that Nautil had like another group of characters before I ditched them and had you guys. There's a really cursed universe where Connor, rest in peace, <laughs> rest in peace, is uh is Jason. Um, oh, yeah, that was that was during the uh, that was during the Jason hates Cameron saga. Oh yeah, I think it's still going. I was gonna say I, I was talking to Cameron about this either uh, yesterday or the, the day before, a long time ago. Jason Jason used to really hate Cameron 
for, mm -hmm. for the longest time. For those who don't know who Jason funny. is, here's a picture of him on screen. You probably know who he is, but I just want an excuse to use the picture again. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I don't have to worry about any fallout because let's be real, Jason is never going to watch this. Don't worry, I'll clip, uh, I'll clip this part and send it to him. Oh no! <laughs> go, go ahead. But uh, essentially, there, a long time ago, uh, Cameron and Jason used to actually be fairly decent friends. We used to be the best of friends. The best is the best of buddies, and uh, I was there for then... him when he kicked his hole in the wall. That's how good of a friend I was. For <laughs> him. But but essentially, what what occurred was as time went on, uh, Jason and Cameron kind of grew to hate each other. Uh, actually, I did it back. I think it was more one-sided. I think I think Cameron was fairly indifferent, and Jason just hated Cameron. Well, no, it's because and I that, started to grow up, and I started to get smart enough to realize that he was a major asshole. Jason shifted to just wanting to talk to me and hang out with me all the time. I want to point out, I don't, I don't hate Jason. I don't. I like Jason. I like talking. He's my friend. I consider him a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I think I think deep down, deep down in his black lump of coal heart you Cameron down, you also down considers heart, Jason you a down friend. Fart. <laughs> down in your fart you consider Jason a friend uh, mm. at some, in some weird abstract way uh, there was a point in time where Jason absolutely wanted Cameron to die <laughs> he hated him. Like, like, I'm, not, I'm not exaggerating that Cameron can confirm this that there was a point in time where, where Jason legitimately just wanted Cameron <laughs> to either die or cease to exist. <laughs> one, one, one of the two. Either way, the, the continued existence of Cameron had to be eliminated. That was, that was, <laughs> that was just part of it. So, uh, but, the, but recently, I've noticed that, that Jason has become uh, a little hostile towards me and is now getting buddy-buddy again with Cameron. And I'm like, gee, what happened here? He seems he seems more a bit more confrontational with you nowadays. Yeah, but then it never ends well. <laughs> yeah, it never listen. Listen, Jason has start has attempted to start shit with with you, me, and back when we used to talk to Tyler, like New Zealand Tyler, and with him too, and it's never worked. And you know he no. always does it in different ways. Like for Tyler, he always tries to act like the adult, even though Tyler is more adult than than uh, Jason. He usually tries to act more smart than you, even though you are smarter than him. For me, I don't know. He, he thinks I'm, he's better at Call of Duty than me or something. I don't know. And, and like I said, I like Jason. To you know, I like talking to him and all that. But like, like there there are days where it's like a, a screw just slowly being screwed into my skull to the center of my brain. You know, <laughs> like there there are just days where I'm like, I cannot handle this guy right now. Or I'm going to lose my mind. I never talk to him alone. I try my I, I talk to him alone every now and then, and those are usually when I have good conversations. It, it's for some reason when all three of us, or more, are, are in a party with him, suddenly things get weird. And Jason probably hates me more again now because, you know, as people have probably know, I, I the competition, Cameron versus Jason round three, I won again. He, uh, he's 0 for 3 at this point. <laughs> when, has, has when, some... you guys, when you guys did the first competition, I think, didn't I play Jason? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you doubled for Jason in, in the trailer, which is really funny. I remember he said, I remember because like when I first did it, I didn't think Jason wanted to be in it. So I had like Donkey Kong sound effects over, over for Jason's, for Jason's like Banjo-Kazooie style. And, and, I, and I sent it to the group and Jason got really angry at that. And I'm like, well, do you want to be in it? And he's like, fine. I'm like, okay. And then I made, and then I green screened him, but since he doesn't know how to frame his camera, it was just his head. So I'm like, well, I guess you're just a big head now. Because I green, it's like we, as we green screened him onto like, you know, a green screen covering your whole body. So it was just a whole head. Does anyone remember when Jason legitimately believed that, that FYC was solely created just to bully him? I do. <laughs> I, think, I think I told Aaron that. Because like, he's aware, he is aware like I don't know if he's ever actually watched the episode. I know he's commented. He's commented. On some he's of the commented. Videos, I, he commented on Babylon, and he commented like twice. And one of them was like, "Good job, bro." The ending. So either he yeah, watched but, the whole thing or skipped to the end. I I don't know. I honestly I don't think he actually watched it. 
He probably watched the uh, week one. Because, I don't know. Because months, because months or maybe a year later, we asked him about FYC, and he said that he's never seen an episode. Yeah, it was when it was when it was ending. I'm like, Jason, are you sad the series is ending? Yeah, and then when and then when I brought up like, wait a minute, what do you mean you never saw an episode? You commented on one of the episodes, and and he he just said he didn't remember doing that. You didn't remember? So I guess he turned into Mr. Hyde that day. And, and did that. <laughs> He's gonna hide. Uh, <laughs> no, there, there was a point in time where and I, he probably still does believe it. He probably believes that about this podcast too, which I guess yeah, this kind of turning into that. Uh, he he legitimately believed that FYC was solely created that, that it wasn't a movie review show. He, he had no idea it was a movie review show. He legitimately believed that it was just created to bully him. So I'm, I think from his point of view, he just thinks every episode is just Cameron sitting at a desk like, <laughs> look at this guy. It probably doesn't help that like some of the first big videos I ever produced and edited were Jason Exposed videos. So he probably, <laughs> he probably thought I just never stopped. <laughs> Even though I haven't, <laughs> what would you say? Fairness to his argument. Kenny versus Finny is mostly just you making fun of Jason. How? How am I making fun of Jason and Kenny versus Finny? The whole point of the episode is you trying to avoid having to watch a movie with him. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> no, no, no. The whole. The, oh, you're right. <laughs> I forgot. I thought I was like, no, I'm, I'm watching movie with Richter. I was like, oh wait, no, Jason is like an actual plot pivotal character who's who's portrayed by Nick in the <laughs> the, the, the out the fucking outtakes of Nick. Doing a British accent is, ho- is fucking hilarious. What was the movie you did for the pilot? I did King Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, that's right. I did the American one, and Tyler got really mad at that. I gave it a C plus. It's one of the two possible ratings you can get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, no one got that when I did when I did the April Fools' video for the FYA on FYC. No one got the joke of me giving FYC a C plus. Isn't, don't you also give the killers that when you die? I, I, I say I say B minus. Oh wow, well, you broke the mold. I, I said B minus. Oh. That is still the best joke in the whole series. Oh, second best. For what's, me. what's the first? What's the best joke in the whole series? I, my favorite joke is when you say like, I think it's Tyler is asking you like, what will happen in your day that in really smash cuts you going. <laughs> 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 One of my favorite jokes in the whole series is very like I really like the ones that are like kind of more low-key jokes that are like there's a lot of jokes uh in babylon or not babylon but ultra q especially where it's like it really feels like there's a punchline and then you have the script to wait for laughter <laughs> what do you mean you have the script wait what do you mean wait for laughter like as if you were filmed in front of a live studio audience <laughs> what the- like the prime example one was uh like when you tell Tyler that it's Halloween, it goes like, "Oh, well, that's why I pissed myself. I just thought my bladder was leaking." Laugh track. <laughs> oh, maybe, I, I think I think that was just down to me not editing too too tight. Please, editor Cameron, when you're doing this episode, put Family Guy cutaway to that clip and then put a <laughs> laugh track in it. Don't don't lengthen it. Like don't change the length of anything. Just put a laugh track there and see how well it feels. <laughs> see how well it works. Okay, okay, so maybe we did kidnap you, but it's Halloween. It's the scariest time of the year. So that's why I pissed myself this morning. I thought my bladder was just leaking. Wait, 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 wait. This is pointless. I'm not even traumatized. (laughs) I want to make that as a side thing. It's just FYC with lab tracks. (laughs) Um, remember, 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 we talked about like making like a like a big studio adaptation of FYC. That's what it would. That's what it would include. Okay. So I, I didn't want to talk about this on the podcast. Have you told Justin who is going to be playing you? In oh, the- you're right. Yeah, we made we we talked about like if FYC was a movie, who would play who? I need to find it. It's on. It's on our Discord. I need to find it unless you know where it is. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, it started with I guess Aaron. You were watching one of the Fantastic Four movies. <laughs> the one with uh, Miles okay. Teller as Reed Richards, and I guess he makes the FYC face in the movie. He does. He and, does. And, you, and, you, and you sent it to me, and I had no idea who that was. And you're oh, like, oh, speaking of things that look like Cameron, uh, Aaron, <laughs> did Cameron ever? Did Cameron ever tell you about the movie Threads? No. Okay, so so there there is a movie. It's a it's a British movie. 
called Threads, and it, it's about uh, like England getting nuked in in a in a nuclear holocaust. Uh, and there's a guy. I noticed it while watching the movie. And I sent a picture to Cameron immediately. <laughs> there, there is a guy that looks exactly like Cameron in the movie that gets like freaking annihilated by a nuke in the first ten minutes. I like it looks straight. Like I remember seeing it, and I was like, "Oh, hey, that guy kind of looks like Cameron." Looks and exactly like kids, me. He's like, ah! I'm like, "Well, that guy did look like Cameron." <laughs> <laughs> put, a, put a side by side of them, Cameron. Uh, fade, fade them on top of each other to make one person. Uh, say, uh, put put you side by side by Miles Teller. And you'll know there, there, is, you. there was also a weird moment where uh, I was playing Fallout New Vegas, <laughs> and there was an NPC that straight up sounded just like Cameron. <laughs> I remember and, that. And I was talking to him and Jason at the same time. I'm like, wait a minute, what the hell? And, and I, play, I played the voice to Cameron, and even Cameron's like, "Oh my god!" No, that no. What happened TV. was, no. What happened was, Jason was playing Fallout New Vegas, and he was like, he sent us like an audio message. The uh, the voice actor went off in the background, and we're like, "Are you watching one of my videos, Jason?" He's like, "No, I'm playing Fallout." Yeah. So yeah, you're like, yeah. Uh, Miles Teller has to play uh, Nolan Man in the FY <laughs> in the FYC movie. And, and then we're like, all right, and you, you say, I can't wait until Miles Teller, he has syphilis for the FYC movie. <laughs> I'm uh, going to give him syphilis. And I said, I want Patrick Stewart to be Orloff. <laughs> I, I thought, <laughs> Patrick Stewart to be Orloff. Uh, I wanted, I wanted the, the guy who plays Jigsaw to be Richter. What's his name? Tobin Tope. Bell. Yeah, I, wanted, I wanted Tobin Bell. Didn't, I want, didn't I, we originally cast Jim Carrey as... <laughs> I can't remember, but we want. I, I wanted Perry Caravella to be Jimmy Johns, and I wanted Christopher Walken to be Dino. And I think we we uh, we compromised to Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and, and we mentioned this that the, the age the age range of this cast is absolutely terrible. It's like Miles <laughs> Teller is like in his like thirties, I think, like mid to late thirties. Meanwhile, like Tobin Fair. Bell, Bill Murray, and Christopher Walken are all like in like their in, like their seventies. Uh, Perry's like, like in his like what like Perry, late fifties, early sixties. Perry's in his sixties. Yeah. So everyone's so, acting opposite against a very young Miles Teller, even though all the characters are meant to be around the same age. About the Game Awards last the time. The Gamer Awards. Finally, FNAF Five can win all the awards. What if yeah. FNAF Two won all the awards in twenty twenty three? The game that came out in 2014. <laughs> yeah, I didn't watch the Game Awards. I don't give I don't give a crap about the Game Awards. All I care is that Mario Wonder won the best Mario game. They won the Nintendo Award. <laughs> yeah, the Nintendo Award. Uh, Baldur's Gate won Game of the Year. I think yeah. that's cool. I know a lot of people are really fucking angry at that, but I'm like, it's the only game. Why do you have to be game. mad? Justin, I'm, I'm sorry. I know, I'm Justin, I knew you were rooting for Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz to win Game of the Year. I, I was really sad for you when it didn't win. I know. I have my noose ready. <laughs> oh, no. I'm trying to find funny news headlines. I'll make you guys uh, ker-chuckle. Ker-chuckle? ker-chuckle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's a good one. Uh, Dog shocks Pennsylvania family by chowing down on $4,000 in cash, shredding it all over the room. Chow's down. <laughs> so, is, so is, I, is, that, is that the actual quotation of the article? That is. I was going to say, let, let me ask you guys something. What would you guys do if you came home and, and your dog just ate $4,000 of cash? I said that dog's worth $4,000. Yeah, that's his money now. <laughs> that's his net worth now. <laughs> it's net worth? Yeah. I thought... I used to think no worth how much money you were worth on the internet. <laughs> when I when I was ten years old, uh, I thought I thought a mortgage and the morgue were the same thing, <laughs> and that and or that they were related to each other. So in my brain, I thought that when you paid your mortgage, 
you're actually paying for your body to be sent to a morgue when you died so they didn't get just dumped in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> paying my death bill. <laughs> Pretty much. My coworker, I love him to death. He is very nice, and I, I, I like uh, opening with him, but... I, 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 I love him so trait. much that he's Macklemore, and I can't stand for him. No, his toxic trait is he'll play music on the Bluetooth speaker we have up front, but he loves playing Macklemore really loud. <laughs> that's, that's a horrible... That's oh, a you, very guys, you, guys get to play, you guys get to play music at your work? Yeah, we do, because they don't have any radio, so we do it ourselves. Oh, dude, at, my, at the movie speaker. theater I used to work at, they, they, didn't let, they didn't let us, we weren't even allowed to hold our phones. If you got caught with your phone, like, you just get yelled at by our, like, dickhead of a boss. They had phones back when you were working in a movie theater? <laughs> it was 2015. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, everybody, think, everybody thinks working at a movie theater is fun, and then you do it, and they're like, no, nah, this is hell. And then you have to yeah. clean up the barf in between the... I remember some. I think it was like Wang, like Justin Wang on YouTube, was like, "We just need to have like movie theater pigs to come in and eat all the trash off of the movie theater floor." He's that's a great idea. Yeah, I, I, the worst. Yeah, I freaking, movie, well, you should make it everything so much easier. The worst movies for me have been Migration so far. That's awful. What have you been forced to watch it five hundred times? No, I mean it's like cleaning up after. That's what that's what they do to movie theater employees, right? They make you watch the most annoying film in the theater to test it. No, I've, it, sadly no. Uh, like if like if for example, if you're like you know the usher or you're the guy doing theater checks or whatever, if you if you were in the theater for more than like I think it was like if you're in there for more than like thirty seconds, then then like the boss would emerge from his like stupid ass like office with like dark souls boss music playing behind <laughs> and he's gonna yell at you the health bar appears in your like upper vision right <laughs> yeah my 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 boss of my movie theater is arguably the biggest dickhead i i had well, that's probably why your why well, your job wasn't very good then oh no there are a lot of reasons why he just didn't help but, right, but sorry, by the way sorry my audio quality just changed uh my earbuds just died so i'm just gonna use my phone speaker all right, well, we have to redo the whole thing now. No, no, damn it. Hi, welcome to the Friends and Pals podcast. I'm Pal, your friend. <laughs> I'm I'm Pal, your friend, and he's Buddy. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I, I, I'm assuming that you actually, judging by what you said, that uh, Aaron, that you actually got like a pretty decent boss. Yeah, although he loves ordering Marco's pizza. Uh, see, okay, so. Here's the thing, when I when I worked at a movie theater like years ago, back you know when everybody carved you know stone tablets for books and shit, um, the boss that I had was the biggest dickhead that I think I I had met for the longest time. Like I said, like he monitored everything that we did, and if anything even went in like the slightest like wrong way. Like I said, Dark Souls boss music. He'd emerge from his office, and and we would have we had radios. I don't know if you guys got have like radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we we would have radios, and uh, I won't reveal his last name, but his first name was Doug. And <laughs> when 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 Doug would get like really pissed off, he would leave the office to go and and take on whatever employee was pissing him off today. <laughs> and everybody. Everybody would get on the radio and be like, Doug is on the move. I repeat, Doug is on the move. And like everybody <laughs> would like quickly put their phones away and like try to like act like that they're busy. Did Doug not have a radio himself? No, because he hated hearing us talk. So. Oh, okay. Okay, it worked out. It worked out then. <laughs> He would only he would only get on the radio if like he had to like he had a radio in his office but like if he was out and about around the theater he didn't have one on him but um uh, he got fired he got fired for a lot of problems uh, including stealing money from the theater um, <laughs> a whole two dollars right uh, he also got like he also he also like got into a fight with one of his own employees which obviously you know upper management did not like that at all. Uh, there's a there are a lot of like fucked up things about Doug, but man, working at a movie theater, um, you really start to realize that the human race as a whole does not have control over its bowels, because because <laughs> because I don't know what Aaron's dealt with, but I know that I literally had to clean up human fecal matter from the floor of the theater 
multiple times a week, almost every week. And it, it was not like a pattern. It wasn't like, oh, it's only during these certain movies. No, it was, it was pretty much any movie at any given time. I remember, I remember someone shit in the women's sink at the Target I worked at. <laughs> <laughs> was it you? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> no. Good cover score. Good cover story. <laughs> was I it really, you, Cameron? No. I really like the idea of Cameron popping a squat over by the women's sink. <laughs> someone walks in on him and he just makes that FYC face. And so <laughs> Shut up. Uh, there, there, there was a guy that used to come into the theater all the time and he always smelled really bad. And we, we used to call him the Great Mighty Pooh. And uh, he went into the, the bathroom at the theater once and then he, then he came out and he was like lighter. no no he came out and he like comes to the to the concession stand and he's like hey bathroom bad <laughs> and then he and, and then he left i don't think this like, man's that. real i think you made him up <laughs> no, no i swear and i'm like i'm like what the hell <laughs> does that mean so so uh doug emerges from his office and he's like i need you to go to the bathroom and make sure it's clean we're getting complaints of a smell i'm like well yeah and i look at doug and i'm like well yeah you get complaints of a smell that's where people shit <laughs> anyway, so I I go to the ba- bathroom there to see what's going on. That that motherfucker, the great mighty poo, he he <laughs> he ripped off his own underwear and wrote in in big brown letters with his own shit the word "ouch" on the wall. <laughs> is, I don't think this is true. This is true. If, if I have my friend Jack here, my this, old this roommate like, Jack, this is like who a used secret to... audio files you would find like Bioshock or something. <laughs> like yeah, like it's old true. old roommate old roommate Jack who used to be on on my old uh, streams back on my old channel Three Dollar Brain before I deleted it. He he used to work at the same theater. He could confirm us because he was there the same day. Because uh, as soon as I saw that. I left, like I just went back to cassette stand, didn't say anything, and then Doug emerged again, you know, like oh, 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 comes back and he's like, he's like, we're still getting complaints of that uh, of smells in the bathroom. Jack, you go in there. So Jack goes in. He unfortunately had to be the one to clean it up because I was an asshole and I didn't do it. So he come back with like he come back with like like brown stuff around his lips and nose. <laughs> his lips when he sucked up. <laughs> <laughs> But but he uh, he came back. He's like, who who the hell wrote "ouch" on the wall? And, <laughs> who the <hell> wrote "ouch"? <laughs> and, and, and I, I look I look at him and I'm like, I know it's horrid. He's like, yeah, but you know what's impressive is that he underlined it. It had an exclamation point <laughs> next enough, to it. He had enough ink to work with. <laughs> right? Just like, oh my god. Whenever whenever I go to your house, Cameron, for us to film the next FYC, you're I'm not going to my bathroom. I'm, I'm stopping you right there. <laughs> He's gonna write I'm not letting brown. you go to my bathroom. <laughs> He's gonna write "ouch" on the wall. You're gonna go in there and be like, "Why did she just write ouch at shit?" <laughs> see, that's what. See, that's what I wanted to do. I was like, "Why did he write out?" Out of all the things, I mean, granted, <laughs> he wrote it in shit. Whatever, whatever he would have wrote, it would have been bad. But, Is it legible? but why did you, ouch? Did it take you multiple times to read it? No, it no, no. It was, it was actually fairly clear. It was in fine cursive, like he was signing a check. <laughs> Not quite that good. You know, for, for say what you will about this whole situation, but he's got fine penmanship. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it's kind of like uh, that scene in Terrifier where that guy goes to the bathroom and, and Art the Clown wrote like stuff on the wall with his shit. It was kind of like that, except I didn't have the decency of being killed after wit- witnessing that. <laughs> I really like to imagine that stuff like that Doug actually did we just framed other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever said... the big mighty two went of the building, we couldn't find Doug. <laughs> Have you dude, ever seen dude, the I... same place? <laughs> Doug, Doug was such a dick, he got rid of the couch in the break room. <laughs> so so the thing is Doug pretty much had free reign to do whatever the hell he wanted at the theater. And we used to have a couch in the break room along with some chairs and a table. That's and nice. uh, he got he got rid of the couch and he burned it in behind the theater. Oh, Jesus. He, 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 yeah, he doused it in lighter fluid and he and he burned it. And we're like, Doug, what what's what's your freaking problem, dude? Yeah, that's like a statement at that point. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and he and I was like, Doug, why did you burn the couch? And he's just like, No hanky panky in the break room. <laughs> and, and I'm like, and I'm like, like fine, Doug, we'll fuck with tables. 
I'm like, what? Like, who, who's, 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 uh, who's getting on in the break room the, on the couch? I sit on that. That's gross. Sounds like Doug was doing you a favor. How yeah, long, Doug, that may have been the only. That may have been the only good thing Doug ever did. <laughs> how long did you work there? I worked there for about three years. Jesus okay. Christ! I saw a lot of of crazy shit go down at that theater. Yeah, literally. Right, <laughs> and and like like you said, the, the couch burning thing that was just kind of like a dick thing to do because it was just like we all used that couch to relax because like you know we had we had forty five minute breaks. Unfortunately, they were unpaid, but you know whatever. Uh, and, but like it was, uh, like like the amount of rules that Doug would do, like you know the 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 burning of the couch. But another one was that we were never allowed to eat theater food, even if we were on break. And I'm like, okay, I get it. Don't eat it while you're like working and at the concession stand. That makes sense. But if I'm on break and I actually buy it with my own money, what's the problem? Yeah. Meanwhile, Doug's entire diet was solely pretzel bites and popcorn. <laughs> Only for me. Yeah, pretty oh, really much. Sure. Great story. <laughs> Yay. I had to have something to cut back to. So. <laughs> you weak fucking seal. Great story. Or, or, or. When I was doing that competition with Jason yesterday, he kept making monkey noises that I had, that I had no idea why. And I had to ask and him. To, that I had to ask him to stop. Speaking speaking of that, by the way, uh, Justin, it's funny you mention uh, Freddy Fazbear. Considering Cameron was busy last year, uh, being on set with Freddy Fazbear in his hit debut film, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Ju Justin, you 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 wanted to clear up some things about your your professional relationship with the Funny Five Nights character. Oh yeah, yeah, because Cameron got the story completely wrong. I did not get it completely <laughs> wrong. Yeah, I want to point I, out- All I did was place you at the scene of the crime of a false alibi. Yeah, I want to point out, I did not know Josh Hutcherson personally. I never said you I, did. But I played, yes, on did. A, I played soccer and, and it wasn't the school soccer team. It was, it was just like a little, like a little soccer league thing. Uh, but my soccer team played against his and and a lot of us just you know like because he would he would often talk about that he was the kid from bridge to terabithia or whatever Is that what movie he was in at the time. yeah pretty much the kid from the bridge and, of terabithia yeah that's we all knew him as that and then i guess he moved to la but like yeah like it, it was just sort of like he wasn't like a dick or anything he was just annoying about it yeah it was just like, whatever and to be fair, I know I know a couple not like big actors, but I know a couple local actors um, that are. I'm gonna get blacklisted just for saying this. Uh, there are a couple of them that got egos that are like way bigger than they really are, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I know a guy who got a role in a like small local commercial, and he think you you would have thought that he just won Oscars for like best actor for like ten years in a row, because <laughs> you know. But he's never done anything other than that. Yeah, yeah. Me, me, and Aaron wouldn't know a thing about uh, actors of egos. The way you describe the story, because I think we talked about it in an episode up here, right? Huh? Uh, I think we didn't we talk about the Josh Hutcherson lore the first episode. No, I talked about the the episode previous to this because we were talking about we were talking about Josh Hutcherson because he makes the FYC face. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. The way you described it is that they were like rival high school football teams, as I think. <laughs> no, 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 no. This wasn't even high school. This is this is grade school. This is like this is like way like way back in the day, back when when you know the only way to survive winter was to kill an elk and you know burn sticks to, for warmth. Is it Cameron? The Cameron thought that your job at the movie. He was like, "Did you were you there when they had the movies with Marilyn Monroe?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember when movies went from like you know silent to sound. I shit my pants. <laughs> I remember. I remember when Horson Wells did War of the Worlds on the radio. I thought the Martians were actually coming. <laughs> it was a threat against me. I thought. I thought they found me out and figured out I was the Martian. <laughs> can that can that be the premise for the next FYC season? Is no one finds out he's a Martian? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, 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 that'll explain all the fucking weird ass things that no one does in FYC.
I was, gonna, I was about to say that that like that way you could actually open up with like you, you know uh, the the 1953 version of War of the Worlds. That works. I like the idea that someone tells Nolan that he's a Martian, so he spends the whole season trying to hide the fact from the rest of the cast that he's a Martian, and then he realizes they just lied and he's simply weird. <laughs> uh, I, I like the idea that someone tells Nolan that he's a Martian, and he's like, oh my god, you know what that reminds me of? War of the Worlds. Anyone <laughs> <laughs> you know else had Martians? War of the Worlds. <laughs> I, I want that to be Nolan's character where every time something happens, like, that reminds me of hit film Space Jam. Uh, I'm, surpri- okay, I'm surprised so, I didn't do that joke. I only did that joke once. I'm surprised I didn't do that a whole lot. So, so, so Cameron mentioned this in a, in a previous podcast um, that apparently I bullied him into ideas or something. I never like said that. that. I want to point out Cameron's a liar. He's a liar. He can't be trusted. He he he's he killed Jesus. You know, he okay. Judas. He he betrayed. Yeah, he's been he's Benedict Arnold. Uh, you know, he betrayed America. Uh, he, 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 he sank the Titanic. He was the iceberg. You know, <laughs> but but uh, I did I did suggest the camera and I tried and I did try to bully him into doing it. Uh the the <laughs> that's besides the point. Uh the the Doctor Who review. <laughs> that was gonna and, happen. That was gonna happen for the longest time. Yeah, and, and I told Cameron, you gotta have this joke in there, man, where like you and and Tyler go back in time and you fuck up the time machine somehow and Tyler's like, oh no, we fucked up the time machine and you fucking Nolan just goes. You know who else had a fucked up time machine? Doctor Who. And then there's the, <laughs> the review. Fucking starts. I'm, I'm, I'm just, glad. I just, 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 just grab the epilogue. That's the next episode. Let's start season three. <laughs> Timeline resets because the whole cast went back in time and replaced the old people. They replaced the old version. Right. So. No. So no, I'm the normal. One. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a way to re- that's a way to sort of reboot the show. I guess that Doctor episode would have been great. We talked about it during like the FYC iceberg or whatever, but that w- that would have been a great FYC. It's not. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, time the, traveling. Yeah, well, the thing is, the thing is, we would have done the episode in like the second episode of season two. So, uh, what? That's the only, the only thing we could have time traveled back to was not old. <laughs> we didn't have a lot to work with. <laughs> like we didn't have like we didn't have any. It's like doing a clip show in the second episode. You know, you, what do you, like oh, what do you have I to remember, show? I remember you said you said I think you said that that the way you would have done it is you would have had you and Tyler go you know quote unquote go back in time. And and it would take place at the same time as like Nolan and and Jimmy Johns' past selves are in the closet of Night of the Living Dead. So yeah. basically, while Night of the Living Dead's you know while while Nolan and, and Jimmy Johns are hiding in the in the closet, uh, future Nolan and Jimmy Johns are reviewing Doctor Who right outside the fucking door. Yeah, that's what we wanted to do. <laughs> what is what is that solve? You already you're traveling to where this stuff has already happened what are you changing <laughs> well i don't think we had any like time t- the only time travel shenanigans we got up with was because tyler i mentioned this in the iceberg is that I, I was pitching the idea to tyler on a car ride home and he's like yeah the dalek scared me as a kid and i was like what if we go back in time we go further back in time to a younger jimmy johns but it's just tyler on his knees and we, we we throw a Dalek toy at him to give Jimmy Johns the fear of Daleks, and we can have that be like an in character fear. And, and it only gets addressed once again in the finale. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> that's like the, those are like the only like shenanigans I had planned for that episode. Sadly, it never came out. Young Jimmy John should have been Tevin's role in the series. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I was gonna say like when you got like the quote unquote time machine like traveling through time you just like do a shitty green screen like time vortex effect uh-huh. like yeah, so like, you know how, like in, around like ah! well like well like you know how you like you have, like cartoons that have uh, that have like weird like vortexes and they have, like when they travel the time there's like clocks floating around or whatever <laughs> yeah yeah you, you do something like that but it, but then out of nowhere like it fades in and out it's just kenny hot farting on the stairwell okay <laughs> I, I think we should do the episode where it's a little one episode of teen titans where nolan travels to the future and then like it's like what is the fyc cast without nolan but instead of everyone being depressed and dreary everyone's significantly happier i, th- I, I swear we wrote that i swear we wrote that i i, I 
I, I remember we talked about that. Like, was like the ruler of Earth or something, or he took over the moon. He, he finally got his medical license back. Everyone, everyone is great except Richter, who's still dead. <laughs> yeah, Richter's still dead. Oh yeah, was this like the Christmas special we had, we wanted to do? We wanted to do like a fucking Christmas carol, but with like, FYC. <laughs> that, would, that would have been funny as hell. That would have been really funny. No, remember I said I wanted to do that with Jason. Like, I, I said I wanted to, uh get like a bunch of people to call jason on on christmas Eve. <laughs> we, we make him think like the ghost of christmas past is visiting him <laughs> jason like, it's the ghost of christmas present on discord right now <laughs> like I, I i remember like we we talked about that we were just like hey like we need to get like three people i was gonna get my my friend who is a, a director of a bunch of short films i've been in, uh, named uh, caleb I was gonna get Caleb to be the ghost of like of like Christmas present. I was gonna be the ghost of Christmas future, and Cameron to be the ghost of Christmas past. I remember <laughs> this. This was the most stupid idea we've ever came up with to fuck with Jason. <laughs> and it, it was basically the idea was was like well, like Cameron would call Jason first and and like basically troll him for an hour, and then he, and then he'd be like you know oh the ghost of Christmas present is coming, and then and then Caleb would call <laughs> as Cameron left. Left. And then, and then after Caleb trolls Jason for an hour, he's like, "Oh no, the ghost of Christmas future." And that's when I, I come in. You have these <laughs> grand crazy. plans, but then Jason would would just be sick of it after the first bit and just refuse to answer his phone. Yeah, he he would have he would have gotten tired of it after you like called him a fucking moron for the first like five minutes. <laughs> I I remember when you guys were doing the first challenge. Uh, a couple years ago. Dead Rising. Oh, the Dead Rising challenge, such a classic. Oh man, the Dead Rising one challenge. Of, Go ahead. One of Cameron's ideas was to have me and Tyler call in as Jimmy and John's and Dina respectively and try to mess with hit Jason as like distraction, like distraction and summon is, spells. And the, final, and the final coup de gras was having Evan as Jason call in to annoy Jason. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what I wanted. And then all three of us said, "Okay, but why would we do that?" Yeah, and then, and then I, but then I won anyway. So I was like, "I don't need, I don't need you fellas." I tried so hard to keep that competition calm. You, you did not do a good job. It, well, to be fair, <laughs> so to be fair, it was enti- it was entirely my fault. I mean, to be fair, I did do the whole thing like attention contestants. Poop is not food. <laughs> this is, this is specifically, the yeah, that, he, you, he did, we really didn't like that. <laughs> didn't. Like, wasn't the whole thing, like, do you wanted us, like, not even just ourselves, like, you wanted us completely in character. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I wanted you to call it as, like, a radio show or something as, as your character, just to annoy him. <laughs> you wanted us to role play with him. Well, you understand, for that competition, I had, like, three different big ways to annoy him set up. I had you guys calling in, and I had, like, the, the movie trivia cards. I don't know what the third one was. Yeah, yeah, I, I had all these tactics to annoy Jason. I don't think I'll ever do that again. It's not funny. I, I remember he told me that he wanted me and Lee to do a competition because I guess he thought me and Lee were going to go like fucking ape shit on each other. I, I t- but the thing is, I told Jason, I was like, you know, the sad part is if we did that, it would be the most boring competition ever because Lee and I would just be really cordial to each other and just be nice and talk about things we like. I talked to Lee about that and he's like, oh, don't worry, I'll turn it up. It'll be it'll be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, OK. Yeah. See, but that's, that's a problem is that like and Cameron knows this, I'm really low energy because like I'm tired all the time. <laughs> so like I don't know so, you, like, you were you were you were you were turning it up during the the modern warfare competition. That's why that's why I kind of missed you during the, the the this one we had yesterday cuz you're a great you're a great like announcer and commentator. It would have been fucking I, nuts. I know, but it would have been like, nuts. Did you see how fucking hype I got when I won? Like I broke every single mic level I had. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, I wanted I wanted to be there yesterday, but like I got I got roped into doing a bunch of stuff that yeah, I don't want to do. Right. I, like, I still oh. won. Listen, because listen, like playing the humiliation is bad enough. Because like you know, but I think losing to Jason is humiliation enough. So that that's what drives me to win. You know what you guys should play as a humiliation. You should, play, you should both play agony. You should both see who could speed run it I faster. I think I would get taken off of YouTube for playing agony. All right, that's fair. So yeah, yeah sounds great. Yeah, yeah, it's really funny how Jason. Jason always wants to. Jason starts all these competitions, by the way. 
like Jason is always the instigator in these competitions. I I, ne I I never challenge him. He challenges me, but it always ends up ending horribly for him. He always loses. I don't know what he's trying to. I, I do not know what he's trying to prove. He wants to prove that he's the very best. Like no one ever was. Having that be the cut at the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah, smash cut to credits. Any, a... any closing remarks, Gaddies and Littleman? Uh. I mean, I get. I guess don't Justin, this don't is your play. Oh, go ahead. This is your platform to the world. You have one meaningful message to say, and everyone will, will follow it. Uh, if your if your tummy is giving you the rumblies, don't go to GameStop and think yeah you're gonna be okay because you're gonna end up like me and accidentally shit yourself. And finally come full circle. So I mentioned that in the yep. beginning of the stream, and <laughs> <laughs> that's all the context you guys are gonna get. Yep. <laughs> If your tummy's rumbly, listen to our podcast. Yeah, yeah. definitely a right to sleep. Tummy rum rumbly listeners only. <laughs> uh, if you find yourself at, at the shit pond in Wexford, Ireland, don't jump in it. You you might cut yourself. They they usually say uh, you know you either shit or get off the pot, but you know if you're not on the pot and you got your pants up, you're just gonna shit your pants. You might as well write ouch. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Pals, Friends, Friends, Pals, and Pals, and Justin Podcast. Woo! Bye-bye. <laughs>